Hey Divas, it's Ingrid. I thought I would just quickly come and say hi. I'm doing some videos in my paid groups all on visibility and video and messaging and copy and funnels and ads and sliding candle here. I just went for a beautiful walk with my man. It was beautiful. My 97 year old grandmother had an accident a few days ago and I've got to go and visit her in hospital, but she's doing good. She's a tough Russian broad who fell over and hurt her hip. Hey, Isabel. So I thought I would write a little bit of a provocative statement for you. It's all done deliberately. So really at the end of the day, we don't love necessarily money for money's sake. We always, the, the appreciation of love is typically uh, what it brings to us, right? So hey, gorgeous Isabel. So we have to reconcile. We have to, hey Camille, we have to reconcile within us uh, our love and appreciation and respect of money and the commodity uh, and the power that it has. So one of the things that I feel so many divine women get tripped up on is we think that money um, is used to overpower. And it can be used to overpower darkness. Um, money can be used um, for manipulation and all those kinds of things. But I think money, when held with the divine feminine, is around nourishment, structure, overflow, contribution, influence, uh, and really changing the game. To really begin to reconcile, attune, and resurrect your relationship with sacred, divine, high Lavinia, sacred, divine, holy, abundant. You have respect. You cannot receive something. When I'm selling and when I'm doing the work that I do, I have no rejection of money and abundance uh, and my voice and what I'm then downloading and seeing for someone that I'm about to say work with. Like I, it's like of divine light. Um, if you can get what I mean. Now I'm going a little bit woo woo with this. Obviously, you know, we've got, it's not really woo woo, it's the law of quantum physics. It's the law of a realm. Hey Michelle, hey Angela of consciousness. Sorry, you can see my diva ring light in the back there, but whatever. So it's like, it's just so abundant. Hey Fleur, it's so abundant. It's so juicy. I am tapping into the highest level consciousness of for myself, for my community, for my prospects, for the women that I serve. When I'm channeling in and working with a woman, hey, go to Angela and her work. I was just saying to my team, like I'm reading as well, also my sales team and the people that work for me. When I, you know, I'm studying my I'm a sham, sh hey, gorgeous Victoria. I love you. You're amazing. You know, like I'm working. Hey, gorgeous Sally. I'm working on such a deep level. And sometimes I hide it for people who really know me. They know how I work. If you've come to work with me as a client, um, sometimes I think it's a little bit of my own healing that needs to still come forward because I grew up being told a lot. Like my dad used to say to me things like, don't act like you know too much. Don't be too much. Don't be too big. Don't, don't show you, don't show the full gamut of what you have, right? It's not safe or you'll just look too much. And I think my dad and I had all these photos come up today. My dad passed, as some of you might know, in November. And I had all these photos come up today. And my daughter, Ari, was sending me all these cute pics and um, you know, I love my dad so much and he was such a beautiful divine light in so many ways. And he also had a lot of fears and my dad was electrocuted as a child and uh, in a camp in Russia and he actually had missing fingers his whole life and he had a lot of unresolved, I think, trauma from that. And he really loved me, but he was also quite, and I was speaking to a girlfriend actually a few days ago too, where we grew up, grew up with these parents that loved us a lot, but they're also a little bit male chauvinistic. And then also they have their fear-based consciousness and they can't help themselves, but they're trying to sort of protect us by invi not inviting us or kind of like willing us to stay small. 
So I had to work a lot in order to um, <laughs> release that and to invite other women to show up in their fullness. And, you know, I always talk about, you know, be full of yourself. It's not an ego based statement. It's actually ego to diminish the self in other in order to make others feel comfortable. We need women rising up. We need women owning our fullness and showing that and demonstrating that at the end of the day, um, at the end of the day, you know, I believe if we all have sort of a real affinity together in terms of what our soul expression is, it is as we are healing and ascending, it's gone into a quickening. And the quickening is when you release, you decide, okay, I'm making a change. You release, you release all the constructs, you release all the fear, you begin to release all the fears and all the stuff that's kept you trapped. And you become lighter and lighter and frequency and therefore then you begin to attract the mirror of that you begin to attract the clients and the people and the relationships uh, and the opportunities that mirror your new level of frequency so going back to the very beginning of today's conversation money is a vehicle i had someone say i've got money issues got all this money stuff and i said well why it's sort of pointless it means that you've brought bought into false constructs constructs of what money is it's not money's fault that we have power wars. It's not money's fault that we have people that try to manipulate us with money. It's not money's fault that we have war and famine. The reason that we have war and famine, the reason we have all the power plays going on right now with po politics and racism and religion and all around the world and across the globe, is to do with the energy behind money. So money can either be for the highest level of good, and I really want you to feel into that. It's probably stuff that you've already heard before. You might've heard me say it over and over again. But we have to, hey beauty, beautiful Angie, hey Angela. And um, we have to decide and reclaim and have a reclamation um, of what money is in the light of the divine feminine and i want you to begin to see money and yourself holding money and building money and asking for money and receiving money with the highest level of divinity and respect and that it's there for your expansion it's there for the good it's not there to harm or rob someone or hurt someone money you know has done a lot for communities money you look at the non-profit organizations um and then also the for-profit organizations say for mine mine is a for-profit but we do other things in order to support women in our community we're able to give back we're able to really support people at a deeper level we're able to offer more content and more information and more support with our women um for like without tacking on an additional cost and charge for our work because we have a basis of uh, abundance and cash. Hey, Sarah, gorgeous, to be able to, hey, Julie, to be able to do the work that we are doing right now. Um, yeah, so the more abundance that you have, the more beauty and the more healing and the more um, that you can really pay it forward, right? So I'd just like you to take a moment today to invite in the divine creator, the divine forces that be, to sit here with us in your heart, in every single cell of your being, and just sort of see this beautiful divine pink light energy around you and within you, filling every single cell, and just gently command in more money. I now release anything toxic, I forgive myself and all others and I now tune, attune to the highest vibration of love and money and abundance in my life. Are you standing behind me? <laughs> Do you want to give me a cuddle? I love you. Are you going to school? Yeah. Do you want me to come with you? To school? We're on the electric skateboard. Oh, you're on the electric skateboard. Oh, okay. Bye. I love you. Have a great day. Okay. I love bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later? Yeah. Okay. For yourself, I meet a lot of very exhausted women. I used to be one of those women where it's almost like we don't allow ourselves to receive, and we're very good at give, give, giving, giving, and working hard and proving and justifying our worth, but we're not very good at receiving. So, I'd like you to spend a little bit of time today thinking about receiving more. Receiving, I now allow myself to receive more. Yum, 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 yum. It's
not my connection. So have a beautiful divine day. I'm sending you so much love. I'm doing my million dollar money map, the second phase of the million dollar money map that I did on Saturday in Australia on Friday night in the USA. It's coming up next week, Monday in the USA, Tuesday in Australia. You'll be getting an email on that and I'll also put up the details today on this video. I'm sending you so, so much love and abundance and healing and divinity and lightness and blessings and have a beautiful day. Kisses. Bye.